Thank you for being with us today, Kaili. You know, I've, I've learned about you as a child, as a champion swimmer, and now as an artist. It's really an honor to meet you. Oh, Lila, this is so special. Thank you for the opportunity to be with you this afternoon and, and just to share some thoughts and, and, and uh, catch up a little bit. Especially in a place like this that honors art. Um, tell us a little bit more about the artwork that you do. I'm generally known as an installation artist. So it's a genre of art um, that is non-media specific. It's usually multi-component. It usually occupies a lot of space, whether it's located within the gallery walls or somewhere outside. The content of my work is, is based and founded upon uh, Native Hawaiian perspective issues uh, that are relevant to this time, to the place that I happen to be showing at or in, it delves into different layers of concern, you know, from the indigenous perspective, but also from, uh, you know, a global kind of human perspective as well. well from what I've seen, it's fairly non-traditional. And mm. how did yes. you find yourself in this genre? I have a background in architecture. Uh, I have a, an undergraduate degree from Princeton in architecture. And I kind of floated around and didn't really figure it out until later in life. Then I, I, I decided, ah, I need to get another degree. Uh, let's, what, what can I do? So uh, at the time, I had been mentored by Toshiko Takaezu, who was a professor at Princeton and also from here. She's a very famous ceramicist, and um, we have her in the collection here at the Honolulu Museum of Art. She's currently in the Venice Biennale in Venice, Italy. I'm so grateful for the opportunities that she opened up to me. Very grateful for her mentorship. So you have someone from Hawaii yes. in your college time that introduced you to a genre you didn't know, and now you're doing the same thing. Um, you know, as you're an instructor at KCC in a general yes. art class. It must be very challenging for you to be inside a room with young people who might be thinking that art is a certain way. Yes, yes, that it, it is a challenge to come into a ceramics class and not think about it as a pottery class. Uh, but truly as an introduction to critical thinking, developing and creating different strategies for life mm -hmm. through projects that um, challenge a student to really, um, you know, think about the technical aspects, but more importantly, the, concept, the conceptual aspects of, of art and, and thinking. And I would imagine it's, it's also challenging because these young folks that you have in your community college are coming out of high schools that don't necessarily focus on fine arts. Yes. That right. may, may not look at art as part of life. Mm -hmm. It's really important that our public schools especially develop a stronger cu curriculum for art within, uh, you know, from elementary through high school because it only serves to enrich their education, enrich their understanding about the environment in which they live, and also to develop ways of looking at the world that you, you cannot understand except through art. And I think that's, that's um, when they come to me, uh, you know, we, we have to kind of found them again, you know, place a foundation for them to, to kind of step on and, and uh, engage with. And it must be a challenge helping them to unlearn and unpack who they really are. Yes, it, you know, it, that's probably one of the most gratifying, you know, aspects mm -hmm. of teaching is that, um, you know, they may not know how to visualize um, in, in, in a new language, right? The visual language, who they are, where they come from, and, um, you know, where, where they're gonna go. Mm -hmm. it, it's really important to understand, I think, identity. Um, it's a critical 
uh, aspect of life for me as a Native Hawaiian, but it's really important um, and really gratifying to see that they can um, figure out and, and, and develop strategies for learning where they come from. And living life. Yeah, and, and <laughs> absolutely, yeah. and living life. Thank you so much for the work that you're doing, as challenging as it might be, and thank you for being with us today. Thank you. We've just had the pleasure of speaking with Kaili Chan, artist and lecturer at KCC.